Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got these uh, two triangles, uh, OAC and uh, OAD, and this uh, circle with the center O put together, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, OA is the radius uh, of this circle, and it is uh, 8 uh, units, whereas uh, this segment uh, AC uh, tangent uh, to this uh, circle. And moreover, this angle is A, this angle is B, this angle is C, this angle is D, and finally, this angle is 4 times A. And this point B is on the circle. And now our task is to calculate the angles A plus B plus C plus this uh, angle D, as you can see in this uh, equation. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, point A is the point of uh, tangency. And now let's recall the circle theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees, as you can see in this given diagram. Therefore, our this angle OAC is going to be 90 degrees. Since OA is the radius and AC is the tangent line. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this triangle OAB. And now we can see that this uh, OA and OB are the radii of this very same circle. So therefore, OA is going to be equal to OB. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, is an isosceles uh, triangle. And since this is an isosceles triangle, so therefore, this angle is going to be congruent to this uh, angle. If this angle is C, then this angle has got to be C as well. And now let's recall the triangle sum theorem. According to this theorem, the sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. So therefore, in this triangle OAB, sum of these three interior angles, 4A plus C plus C must be equal to 180 degrees. So therefore, we are going to write down 4A plus C plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. And now let's go ahead and combine the like terms. So 4A plus 2C equals to 180 degrees. And now we can see that each and every term is divisible by 2 across the board. So therefore, I am going to divide each and every term by 2. So therefore, we are going to get 2A plus C turns out to be 90 degrees. Let me go ahead and call this our equation uh, number one. And here's our next step. Let me go ahead and label uh, this angle uh, BAC as uh, X. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole angle is uh, 90 degrees and that is going to be some of these uh, two individual angles uh, C and uh, X. So therefore I can write uh, angle X uh, plus angle uh, C equals to 90 degrees. Let's go ahead and move this uh, C on the other side to isolate X. So therefore, our angle X could be written as 90 degrees minus C. Let me call this our equation uh, number 2. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, a, B, C. And now let's recall the exterior angle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite uh, interior angles, as you can see in this uh, given diagram. And here C is our exterior angle, and that is going to be equal to the sum of these two opposite interior angles A and B, such that uh, C equals to A plus B. So therefore, in our case, uh, this uh, angle C is going to be our exterior angle and that is going to be equal to the sum of these two opposite interior angles uh, X uh, plus uh, A. So therefore, I can write uh, these uh, sum of two interior angles A plus X uh, equal to exterior angle uh, C. But then from equation 2, we know our X uh, value is uh, 
90 degrees minus C. So therefore, I'm going to substitute uh, that value over here, 90 degrees minus uh, C. So therefore, I can write uh, A plus uh, 90 degrees uh, minus C equal to C. And now let's go ahead and move uh, A and uh, this negative C on the other side, as you can see in this uh, next step. Let's go ahead and combine these like terms. So therefore, we're going to get uh, 2C minus A turns out to be 90 degrees. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number uh, 3. And now let's focus on uh, equations 1 and uh, 3. And here I have copied down uh, this equation 1 and 3. Therefore, we got this system of two equations and we are going to solve for A and C. And now let me go ahead and multiply this uh, first equation uh, by negative uh, 2 across the board. So when we multiply by negative 2, so that's going to give us uh, negative 4a minus uh, 2c equals to negative uh, 180 degrees. And I'm going to copy down this uh, second equation as it is. So I'm going to write down 2c minus a equals to 90 degrees and now let's go ahead and add uh, these two equations we can see this negative 2c and positive 2c they are gone so therefore on the left hand side we are ended up with the negative 5a equals to negative 90 degrees and now let's divide both sides by negative 5 so therefore our a value turns out to be 18 degrees and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, equation uh, 3 and here i have copied down equation uh, 3 and now we can see our a value is uh, 18 degrees so therefore i'm going to substitute a by 18 degrees so this is going to become 2c minus uh, 18 degrees equal to 90 degrees and now let's go ahead and add 18 degrees on both sides this is gone so therefore our 2c turns out to be equal to 108 degrees. So therefore our angle C turns out to be 54 degrees. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle OBD. And here we can see that uh, this angle C is our exterior angle. And that is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two opposite angles B plus D. So therefore, I can write down uh, B plus uh, D equal to angle C. But then we know our angle uh, C is 54 degrees. So therefore, I'm going to substitute C over here by 54 degrees. So therefore, our B plus uh, D angle turns out to be 54 degrees. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and... Uh, calculate the value of a plus b plus c plus d and here i have rearranged uh, b and d i have put them uh, together and here i wrote down uh, a and c over here and here we have uh, a value is 18 degrees c value is uh, 54 degrees and this uh, b plus d value is uh, 54 degrees uh, as well so let me go ahead and substitute those values so 18 degrees plus uh, 54 degrees uh, plus uh, 54 degrees uh, as well if we add these one that's going to give us uh, 126 uh, degrees so that's the sum of these angles a plus b plus c plus d turns out to be 126 degrees thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye